Hi, I'm Armand. And this is Tyler. And welcome to Gothenburg Watches. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at the Breitling Navitimer B01 reference AB0121. You can see this watch in our Ardmore Suburban Square location and find out more at gothenburgwatches.com. Also, download our app, Gothenburg On Time, for the latest news and orological reviews. The watch's 43mm case looks great on Tyler's 16 centimeter, 6 and a third inch wrist, and has great presence due to the 14.25 millimeter height, as well as the 48.5 millimeter lug end to lug end measurement. The case is relatively simple, but finished very well. The lugs have sharp angu angular bevels that flow perfectly into the side of the case. Speaking of the side of the case, the 9 o'clock side specifically, we see the limited edition number engraved. This dial is limited to 1,000 pieces. Moving to the opposite side of the case, we have our Breitling B-signed crown as well as our chrono pushers. Looking closer at the bezel, this is where we see a bit more of the details of the finishing. The knurled nature of this bezel has peaks of high polish that slide right into valleys of brush finish, and it gives an extra dimensional look. Sitting atop the knurled bezel is a huge domed sapphire crystal whose dome is so soft it almost resembles an earthly horizon, oddly appropriate for a pilot's watch. My favorite part about this watch is the brown sunburst dial. As previously stated, this watch with this dial is limited to just 1,000 pieces worldwide. It really changes in different light too, starting at a brown and transforming into a deep, dark gold or bronze color. It's beautiful. Beyond this amazing color, we have a very traditional Navitimer dial, featuring chrono subdials at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, the date window positioned at 4.30. The dial is completed by a rotating inner bezel controlled by the outer bezel, which controls the slide rule. If we turn the watch over, we see something quite rare for Breitling, a display case back. This is done on certain Breitling limited editions. Underneath that sapphire display case back ticks Breitling's Manufacturer B01. Released in 2009, coinciding with Breitling's 125th anniversary, the B01 was Breitling's first in-house movement. Features of the B01 include column wheel engagement, column wheel chronograph engagement, complete with auto-centering hammers for the chrono reset, minimum of 70 hour power reserve, instantaneous date change, and chronometer, chronometer certification. Tyler, why don't you tell us a little bit about the strap and the overall feel of the watch? Absolutely. So what we can see here is a, is a very highly bolstered and thick burgundy style strap um, with the classic white stitching that every uh, leather strap has for Breitling. Very heavily bolstered, which is definitely something you always find with a, a nice Breitling strap. It also is, comes equipped with a, um, a stainless steel deployment buckle that you can see here. It has a, um, a beautiful closure um, and it looks beautiful and the finishing matches the style of the case. I think overall, I think this is a great rendition of the Navitimer. Typically you're going to see the Navitimer with that reverse panda dial, you know, with the black and the white sub dials. But I think this is a great take and something that's really gorgeous, especially with that brown kind of golden um, dial. So if that person who's looking for a Navitimer wants something a little different, I think this is definitely the way to go for a, from a collector's standpoint. Absolutely. This has been Armand and Tyler showing you the Breitling Navitimer B01 reference AB0121. See it live at our Suburban Square location in Ardmore or give us a ring at 610-664-1715 to chat watches with us.